Joker could turn out to be the ace in the pack. Get in there, Mwasa! Tell me tomorrow, Joe. Robert? That's my husband. Thank you, chaps. See no scores on hold. We've got ourselves a new mark. Who? Oh, Jake Henry. My husband. He walked out on me five years ago with uh, pretty much everything I owned. Everything? Apart from a few thoughtful touches, he took all the things that mattered to me. Even my home. Bastard. Oh, he left me a Phil Collins CD that wasn't even mine. Twisted bastard. The point is, it's payback time. So what do we know? Ash? Uh, well, I've not that much time, but I have found out he's only in town from Amsterdam for a few days to play poker. Texas Holden. And he's got another game at the casino tonight. Where's he staying? The ocean. Oh, so either he's worth a few quid or he's planning not to pay. What's our in? We'll have to move fast, so it'll have to be the poker. We'll convince Jake to join us in a Holden competition. Anything else we should know? If someone's got something Jake wants, he'll do whatever he can to take it off. So we'll rekindle his desire for something. In this case, Stacy. Mm. Mm. You watch you don't get carried away. Okay, same routine as last night. Albert, your rope. Stacy and I will wait for the signal. Danny, as you were. Ash, dig around. See what else you can find out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you lot do the glamorous stuff, yeah? yeah leave me, do the serious graft, right. right, don't you? Let's get started. Stacy, can I have a word? Yeah. Uh, look, I understand if you don't want to do this but you know him better than anybody else. So I just need a bit more going. Saw so you winning over here, quite a player. Thanks. And Morgan, sometime poker player, sometime blackjack player, sometime winner. Jake Henry, all the time winner. Now that I can believe, yeah. Hey, Benny the ball, all right, son. Hang on, let's get a little drinky, please. Cheers, babe. Oh, I didn't catch your name, mate. I didn't give it out. I've not um, seen you around here before, what? Unlikely. I only arrived here yesterday. This is Jake Henry, and he's an excellent poker player and a very busy man. Having a good night, are you, Jake? I was. All right, whatever. Anyway, catch you later, Jack. I'll see you later, Benny. Tomorrow night. Don't forget. I know what you like. Mr. Forgetful. Nightmare. Don't tell him anything. All right, sorry, up. I wouldn't have thought you and him moved in the same circles. Oh, we do. I know his father. Or rather, made his acquaintance at a golf charity function. He's a terrible boy. But a billionaire, and therefore he must not know. His son thinks he's one of the hot shots on the poker circuit. He's always trying to mingle with the best players. Well, if the Joker's dumb enough to think he can beat the best players, he deserves to lose every penny he's got. Although the Joker could be down to be the ace in the pack.
Richie Blake. Richard to his father. Dick to anyone else. Hey, Mike. Now, when Richie's bluffing, he's got to tell that no one else seems to have spotted. He does a different variation each time. People think it's because he's drunk. Are you wondering why I'm telling you all this? The thought had crossed my mind, yeah. Well, I'm getting up a little competition tomorrow evening, winner take all, 25,000 sit down money. I'll be the dealer. Mm. Chip Lacey mentioned something about it. Yeah, he's in and Snake Eyes too. But you see, I had to get them in, otherwise, Richie wouldn't be interested. I could have done with more time, but his father told me it'll be the last drop he gives to Richie, so I had to find a good player and fast. Stick your casino up your ass. So, what are you saying? I want to get you in the game. I'll put in half of the 25 grand to sit down on it. You put in the other half, then give me 10% of your winnings. And you get to keep everything else. What if I lose? Well, you won't. A, because you're an exceptional player, and B, because you've got a surefire tell, courtesy of me. Why not bring Snake Eyes or Lacey in on this with you? They're good. But from what I saw this evening, you're even better. Nice plan, Bo. No thanks. Well, in case you change your mind. Right? I doubt it. I'm flying home to Holland tomorrow. Mm. Thank you anyway, Ben. Pleasure. Shouldn't I be asking you that? Are you, uh, are you alone or? No. You with... She's with me. Well, well. Mickey Stone. I heard you were dead. Wishful thinking. So, what's the story, Mickey boy? Are you, uh, pulling casinos now? No, I was here to play poker. I hope your game's improved. It has. So, how are things in the small Conwell, Jake? Still taking 50 pound scores? I wouldn't know someone was managed to get out a long time ago. And some of us got out with something that didn't belong to them. Leave it, Mickey. He's really not worth it. Are you serious? After what he did to you? I think I came out of it pretty well, considering. to apologize. You're five years too late. Please. I thought I'd keep you company, seeing as all it looks like Mickey's neglecting you. But he'll be back soon. Won't take long. Ooh. Lovely view. You've done well for yourself. How long you at this place? Couple of years. 
Nice to see at least my money went on a decent suit. Although I don't recall the marriage vows saying love, honor, and do a runner with your wife's savings. Okay. I deserve that. And that. So what's he been up to in Amsterdam all this time? Oh, well, put it this way, he hasn't exactly been tiptoeing through the tulips. He made a mint on the poker circuit out there and it looks like he's given up grifting. Couldn't take the pace. This is why I had to leave. I owe Davy Cannon a lot of money in a poker game. A lot of money. This was a little taste of what was to come if I didn't get him his money. Hassid. I was lucky. It was meant for my face. I couldn't get all the cash together. And... Not even after selling the house. I was desperate. A phone call would have been nice. A postcard even. I couldn't call you. I couldn't get you involved in the mess. It would have been dangerous for you. I can't believe it seeing you in the casino tonight. It must be fate, eh? Well, seriously, bad karma. You don't think Stacy would fall for him again? He once had quite a whole lot. Once bitten. Just because I couldn't call you, didn't mean that I stopped thinking about you. What's yours? Bottom of the Thames. Nice. Not where you wish I was right now. I didn't know you could mind read. I don't blame you for hating me. Aren't you gonna get that? Stacey. I'm sure she's playing it fine. I'm asking for a second chance. We're good together, you know we are. That was a long time ago. Doesn't have to be. I know Mickey's not right for you. How? Because... You wouldn't have kissed me like that if he was. I think it was time you were going, Jake. Yeah, yeah. Ich will namens mein Klant. Yeah, yeah. Ik ont moeten. Ik heb een appartement die ik wil kopen. Kopen. Sorry, sorry. We kopen. Dag, dag. Any idea how much Jake took Stacy for me? 25k. So do we have him? Looks like it. Good of you to fit me into your busy schedule. I haven't got long, Jake. What do you want? Don't well for yourself, Mick. Can't take all the credit. Wouldn't have got where I am today without Stacy. Mind you, you haven't quite got all the trappings, have you? You and Stace, still not hitched yet. What's the story with that? You got cold feet? 
You haven't exactly made it easy for us to find you to get the divorce papers. Perhaps Stacy doesn't want a divorce. I must admit, she didn't sound so keen on the idea of marrying you. And how the hell would you know? She didn't tell you I was in your apartment last night. Um, I think you've outstayed your welcome. You haven't heard my proposition yet. Not sure I'm interested. I think you might be. I'm gonna give you a second chance. A second chance at what? There's a big poker game tonight, winner takes all. A few other players involved. I thought you might like another chance at trying to beat me after all these years. Um, what makes you think I care? A guy called Ben Morgan set it up. He's gonna be the dealer. 25 grand gets you a place at the table. Why would I play in a game with a dealer of your choice? You think I'm gonna try and cheat you? <laughs> Once a grifter, always a grifter. Wrong. I don't need to cheat you. I use this. So you think you're smarter than the next man, that you can outplay him, that you can outwit him, but the truth of the matter is, you're still a two-bit loser, pulling cons on stupid marks to get what you want. I'm out of that game. I didn't have to con Stacy. True. Then again, I wasn't around, so there wasn't any competition. Oh, and the competition's back now. <laughs> you flatter yourself, Jake. You just can't handle me being around Stacy. No problem. You give me a call when you get your bottle back. If that's what it takes to get rid of you, then yes, you count me in. Ben Morgan? Jake! No, no, no. It's not too late, no. Okay. Let's meet. We're on. Okay, hold them, it is. Are we all clear on the rules? I hope you're paying attention. Oh! Thank you. At the start of the game, every player gets two cards face down. Then comes the flop. Burn one, place three up. At each stage, you place a bet to stay in the game. Next, the turn card, or fourth street. Then the river. Now the idea is, between the cards you've got in your hand and the cards on the table, you make the best five-card poker hand. Tricky thing is, you've no idea of knowing what two cards every other player has. So you bet that you got the best hand, and once you bet, the other player has to put in the same amount, raise or fold. Of course, if you think you've got the best hand. All in. Easy to my hand. I've gone all in because I believe he's bluffing. He's got a nothing hand, whereas I have pocket queens. And with the queen in the flop, that makes three of a kind. He thinks I'm bluffing. But listen, I can read this kid like a book. Good thing is, I've got pocket tens, which is not bad at all. I'm sure I've got him beat. Now if he loses, oi! Now if he loses this, he's out. He's put all his chips in. He ain't just lost the hand, he's lost the whole goddamn game. So I win. You're gonna play the hand or not? Touchy sword, am I? Right, I'll call. He's bluffing. Three queens. Beats a pair of ten. Here's the deal. I'm gonna come in on this con with you. Con? Isn't that rather ungentlemanly? I'd like to think of it as, a, as an opportunity. I've decided to use this opportunity to bring someone else into the competition tonight. Oh. Mickey Stone. And who is Mickey Stone? Someone who's got something that I want. Well, the more players in the game, the more money in the pot, all the better for you and me. Exactly. 
Which is why I'm only interested if we made the pot bigger. Oh. How much? 50 grand sit down. 50? Well, I have to see if the other players can come up with that in time. Well? Yours and my stake, that's 100 grand. Plus Ben Morgan's stake, 25. We've already put all our reserve capital into this. Not quite. That isn't my pension. Fund. No, Albie, don't even think about it. Well, this one was for you, remember? I mean, you're worth every penny. Of yeah, there's the money I set aside for June's hospital bill. Oh. Can't do that, Ash. Well, I can if I think I'll get it back, which I know we will. Think of the return, Stacey. Yeah, but if we lose, we lose everything we've got. We won't lose. So if Albert can convince Snake Eyes and Chip Lacey to come up with an extra 25k each for a place at the table... Already done. ...then we need to find... With what we've got so far, we're still short by 20,000. Three hours to find it. I'm coming in to collect my boss's dog. His uh, wife brought her in this morning. Yeah, that's her. Mitzi. <laughs> Well, how should I have a look at these? Unfortunately, time is of the essence. We do have a plane to catch. Oh, you just can't make up my mind, darling. Pumpkin, you have 30 seconds. We have to go to Harrods and get the playpen and the crib. Oh, this one. Or oh, this one. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. Come on, we have to go. Come on, I'm sorry. Sweetie. You've been most helpful. Thank you very much. Oh, two minutes. No, I said 30 seconds. Hurry a decision like Yeah, well, maybe we'll come back. I promise, darling. I'll decide this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. You said you'd made up your mind. Perhaps Madam would like to try one on. You should have been taking it easy. Oh, Betsy, be careful with her. All right, all right, all right. Sorry. Stay. How are you feeling? I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm, I just need some air. Okay, then you can wait in the car. Oh, Here we but go. My... Come on, come on. It's been a heavy day. Betsy. Look, I'll take care of the dog. Would you mind just escorting her to the car? Thank you. I am so sorry to have wasted your time. Maybe we'll try to come back when we're next in London. If it helps, I believe your wife is about to opt for this one. You think? Well, could be a very expensive mistake if you're wrong. Tell you what, why don't I go and ask her? Shouldn't take a second. Yeah? Of course, sir. I'll be a second. Do it. Okay, game on. Stage one. We need to take the other two players out of the competition first. They won't want to leave the table. If they leave before the game is over, they forfeit their chips, so they'll need a push. Danny, you're taking care of Snake Eyes? Yeah, yeah. Me and Eddie got a little something sorted. Let's just say his mind will be on more pressing matters. Okay. Ash, Chip Lacey? Yeah, everything's in place. Uh, he's in for a small surprise. Good. Then we move on to stage two, the false tell. What is the tell? <coughs> oh, God! Please, tell me he's not serious. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I thought it was bordering on genius myself. Well, think of something else, genius. <laughs> OK, okay well, it'll be something, I don't know, a little bit, you know, twitchy. <laughs> OK, I suppose that's a bit more like it. We'll let Jake win on a few of Danny's tells, so you know he can trust me. Good. 
Once Danny's let Jake beat him, he'll be out of the game and it'll be just Jake and me, at which point we'll play our joker. Stacy? Um, I think that I should pay Jake one more visit before the game. Is that really necessary? I think so. Well, you've already reeled him in. We're gambling everything we've got on this. I need to be sure. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is my genuchen. Yeah, down the list that I hide is held deep by my mag. The work that you do is so belangrijk, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Bedanke. Done. I can't believe I'm doing this for three quid an hour. All you gotta remember, yeah, is you ain't seen me or any of us before. Got it? Got it. So tonight, this is just a regular bar, yeah? Yep. You ain't seen me, right? Right. Yes. Oh, hey, did I leave my penny the other night? It's a gold one. Very expensive. I shouldn't think so. I've never seen you in here before. No, really, I think I left it. Nope, never seen you. No, Ed, let's stop pissing about now, yeah? Sorry, lad. Does Mickey know you're here? No. Has he told you about the poker game? Yeah. I'm gonna beat him, you know. Why so sure? I bother him. Why do you think he's taking the game on? I get to him. I always have done. Mickey's always going to be second best. Especially where you're concerned. Why are you doing this, Jake? I want you back. Well, that's not going to happen. No. I know every inch of you, Stace. I know the way you smell, I know the way you think. I know the way you put your hands through your hair when you're lying. There's no way Mickey's gonna be me. I know every con, every move, whatever he comes up with, I'm gonna beat him and you know that. Don't you? Well then, call it off. Why? Because I don't want him hurt. Too late. Please, Jake. I mean it. Call it off. That's why you come here, isn't it? To save lover boy. He was there for me when you left. Oh, I bet you couldn't believe his luck. What you said when you said you still love me. Did you mean it? Yeah. All my life. Stand down. How come? My wife's going crazy, me coming out playing cards two weeks before the baby's due. I'm on call. 24-7. That's Mickey. Hmm. Relax, Ben. You make it obvious. I'm sorry. Ben, this is Mickey Stone. The lovely Stacy. Stacy? Stacy and I go back a long way. Really? Yeah. Still, that was a long time ago. A lot's changed since then, including Stacy. I used to love you in that colour. Ah, what do you say? This is Chip Lacey. Hi, Chip. And the guy in the specs there, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes? Yourself, sir. 
Oh, absolutely. Sorry, lads. Decent of you to turn up. Right, yeah, you know what they say, lads. No show without punches. Anyway, two and bleeding ages to find this place. Oh, hello, love. I didn't realise there was ladies present. You right, sweetheart? God, that's cute, isn't it? So it's, uh, what kind of poxy old joint is this, then? Uh, I'm the owner of this poxy joint. Right. Listen up, squire. I want a large scotch, nice and big, bit of ice. Stick it on a tab. Get one yourself. All right, Jim. It's Jake. Yeah, whatever. I'll tell you what, lads. Mate, you got your lucky boots on, cos I'm feeling lucky tonight. You feeling lucky tonight? Yes, I am. All yeah. right. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. Winner takes all. Leave the table, you lose your stake, you're out of the game. Only after each player's out will I call a break. Clear? Clear. Right. Right. Ready, clean. gentlemen? Slow as you mean to go on. I'll raise grand. You know what they say? You gotta make action to get action, and that right, sweetheart. Cool. Cool. Up here. Here we go, wins the game. Mr. Lucky. Mr. Lucky. Uh, look at that, you have a bench, yeah? Sorry for that later on. My whip is long. I have all the papier in Yeah. Thank you, Val. Yeah, good, yeah. Flash. Thank you. Now, big good time for coffee. Yeah, and I'll have uh, another large scotch. Joking. You went all in on that. Flash takes. Sorry, Snake, you're out of the game. Don't I know it. Well, he seems in a hurry to leave us. Two minute break before the next pair. Yeah, Ed is me. Where are they up to? Is it time? Okay, I'm on it. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta take it. Hello? Who is this? She's not far off now, Mr. Lacey. I think you'd better get over here. She's asking for you, yes. Yeah, right. Shit, shit, shit. Paul. Paul. All in. 20 grand. You're out of the game. <laughs> Great. Glass of water. I must get a drink here. Uh, do you think?
Then Nicky suspects anything. Such as? Between us. There is no us. Isn't there? Do you know what I wish, Jack? What? You'd never shown up at all. I'd almost managed to forget about you, and yet here you are, messing up my life again. How exactly am I messing it up? Because you've got me so confused. About what? Mickey. They're trying to con you. That's why I came to your hotel room earlier. Tried to get you to stop playing. They all know each other. Bath and the two are already out. Richie's gonna give you a false tell. Then they'll wait till you've gone all in. Richie will have a better hand than you, but you're supposed to think it's a poor hand. A surefire tell isn't so surefire after all. So once Richie's out, I'll stand behind Mickey and indicate to you what cards he's got in his hand. Why exactly are you telling me this? Because I believed you when you said you loved me. I do. Oh, don't tell me. You're catching up on old times. Something like that. Jake. Give it up. Sorry? Trying to take what doesn't belong to you. You're wasting your time. Get me champagne, please. On me. Benny, you're a bottom car dealer and a bum. I don't play any of your answers. Two minute break, gentlemen. Time, gentlemen. Oh, I'm really gonna enjoy this. Well, you know what? So am I. Stace, that thing we talked about. Forget it. I don't need any help. I feel like playing this thing for real. What? I'll take a seat at the end of the bar. Go on. If there's any suggestion of impropriety, I'll call the game off. No, you will not. Deal the cards. Come on, deal.
15. You go all in, and I'll call. Yeah, all in. Call. Straight. Nine, ten, Jack, Queen. Bad luck, Mickey. Ben? <clears throat> Thank you, Ben. To be. Let's go. Stacy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Danny. I'll be. I will make sure you get your money back, I swear. Eddie, have my coat, please. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Is that it? Stacy's gone and so is the money. This can't be happening. Ethro, mate, as quick as you can. Should we pick up some more stuff first? Let Mickey catch up to us. No, no, Jake. I swear I didn't know. I didn't know they were going to do that. Change your plan. I think that belongs to me. Nice try, Mickey. Mickey. Give it to him. I can't believe you're doing this. Stacy, whatever he's promised you, don't fall for it. Stacey, I'm asking you, I am begging you, do not do this. I'm sorry. Not the only thing I want off you again, is it? You won me. Makes it sound like I'm a prize in some raffle. Yeah, you'd be the first prize. Thanks. It's a joke. Does it matter? 
mating geese that were back together again. Uh, it matters to me. Is that how you see me, Jake? As a trophy you can show off to your friends when it suits you? Come on, Stace. That's what this has all been about, hasn't it? What? Money, winning, getting one over on Mickey. You're both as bad as each other. It wasn't about wanting me back at all, was it? Of course it was. Prove it. How? If I mean so much to you, get rid of the money. Go on, if you love me, throw it out into the river. What? No. I didn't think you would. All right. There was a moment there when I thought that you were genuine. And if you had been, who knows what might have happened between us. I was stupid enough to think that you'd changed, but you will never, ever change. That was the case full of fake money, wasn't it? Goodbye, Jake. At least let me give you what I owe you. I don't give a damn about the money. I never did. Just get out. Taking one of these mean anything to you? Hang on a second. I know what she's doing. No, no, Jake. I swear I didn't know. I didn't know they were going to do that. Change your plan. Dear. Ah. You always could think on your feet, Stace. <laughs> Stacey knew what she was doing. I never doubted her. Glad to hear it. I shouldn't we wait for the kid? Oh, uh, yeah. Better had. He'll only sulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he, uh, he might be a little while. So, what exactly have you been up to? Well, let's just say I've been dotting the I's and crossing the T's, that's all. Ah? Uh? I understand if you don't want to do this, but you know it better than anybody else. Go on. First, what were these thoughtful touches that Jane left you?
What he left me was a cactus. A Phil Collins CD. Oh, oh yeah. And a mouldy piece of cheese. Cheers. Prost. 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 Yeah. Prost. Yeah. 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 Prost. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. Who nicked me clothes? Yes, I did. <laughs> I did get a phone number, though. <laughs>